Anyway, we're on our way to go find Sarah, the new chief medical officer, because they are doing some simulations I thought would be cool to see before the patients get on board. So let's go. Um, we're about to run a simulation and it's an EMT call to radiology. We're gonna practice all of our systems and testing them out and seeing what our processes are and hopefully see some gaps that we can improve on. So our, the simulation is being run in our radiology department. I know someone had mentioned an interview with Martha, so you're gonna see her in this. Sadly, don't have time to interview her right now because patients are already coming and it's super busy. But at least you'll see her in her amazing radiology department that she helped design. I think I actually heard she spearheaded designing this. So let's take a look. Is this your first time being a patient? Yes. <laughs> EMT to radiology, and um, can you request an overhead cage, please? This is a drill. Hey, thank you for taking part in this. This is just a briefing to the EMT team and you guys as well. So the goal of this simulation is not to test your medical skills or to test how long it took for you to get here, but to see how in an emergency situation, it will play out in this new hospital of ours. I've tried to recreate a, a clinical situation as realistic as possible, but I need your help and buy-in. Please do everything you would do in a normal situ clinical situation. The patient will be real. You may interact, examine, and place monitoring on him as normal, but if you're examining him and looking for signs, ask me what you're looking for because he won't have any signs. And then there are a few people watching, so Meryl's not in it. Um, Megan's not in it, Karis is also not in it. Everyone else is who they are, who, who they say they are. Everyone happy? Okay, so scenario is just gonna be that you guys have just run in and Martha's standing here. Hey guys, so I know that someone had asked for a ward tour and unfortunately I don't have time to get a full ward tour by a nurse or a doctor because patients are already about to be coming in and it's actually rare that I found a ward that isn't in use yet because otherwise I would not be able to be filming right now. So I thought I would just give you a brief view of the wards uh, so you can at least get an idea and hopefully one day I can come back and do a more in-depth one. But here you go. like that's the nursing station. I'm like the worst person to be giving a word to her. <laughs> Looks like there's beds. <laughs> Aren't I technical in my language? Bathrooms. And this is ward A. There you have it. Before the patients come. Oh, hey guys. Getting my last... Uh glimpse of sunlight before I head back to Glasgow, hoping to meet Lawrence Ajay and get a quick interview from him. Uh, but he was in a meeting, so we'll see what happens there. But at least I'm soaking in the sun for a few minutes. Well, my name is Lawrence Ajay from Ghana. I uh, am the bosun um, on the Global Messi. And uh, I've been with Mercy Ship since 1991. And it's been a long while, but uh, I'm loving it. <laughs> and I'm here with my family. I have five kids. One is at home in Ghana. 
and uh, four are here with me on the ship with my wife. And how many ships have you served on then? I first joined the uh, Anastasis in 1991 when she first came to Ghana. I came on as a day crew and I ended up sailing with a ship and since then I'm stuck. <laughs> I also <laughs> I also transferred from the Anastasis to the African Mercy in Newcastle and uh, and uh, in England and I also served there as a bosun, the first bosun of the African Mercy. Also served there for many years and I transferred over to the GLM. So I've served on the three ships. Three ships. Yeah. And for those who are either interested in working here in your department or don't know, what it, what is it that you do? If you could describe, summarize what you do, what is that? Right. Um, I suppose my job is to train uh, any ordinary seaman or deckhand that comes on board. I train them on, um, all, you know, hands-on, uh, practical seamanship, yeah. which is basic. Uh, and they can go through the stages and become everybody seamen and can go on and steady become an officer as well. And some of my job as well is to um, um, maintenance of the superstructure of the ship. So there's a lot of chipping and painting and make the ship look good. It's part of the job uh, I do as well. And make sure uh, the lines or the ropes that hold the ship together in port, they are always in good condition. That's good. <laughs> How about I ask you one more question? Yeah. What is something God has taught you over your years on three ships? Yeah, I've come to realize that people matters. People are, for me, the main focus of what I do on the ship because I serve on the Anastasis. Anastasis is no more. But the people I serve with, some are still alive. And we are still friends. So friendship, relationship, balance with work yeah. is for me the key. Because we're on a ship, so relationship, friendship. <laughs> relationship, so friendship. Best ones are made on a ship. Exactly, exactly. And, and people, I mean people. People I've met over the years, uh, for me, has been the greatest highlight for what I do on the ship. I've known you my whole life, really. Yes. Haven't I? Yes. I I was on board when you were born. <laughs> but there's not yeah. many ship members left who've known me my whole life. Uh, yes. But Lawrence is one of them. I'm privileged. <laughs> and I saw his daughter the other day yeah. and didn't know it was his daughter until she's my dad is Lawrence. And I was like, I knew you when you were this. Hello. Place. I loved you. Exactly. So now I am the one who's known ship kids exactly. since they were little. So. Sure, sure. Yeah, so. so. Thank you for all you do. You're welcome. I couldn't leave the ship without at least showing the legend. Oh, uh, by God's grace. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, the main question that we're asked is how long have you committed for? And yet every person who leaves, almost every person who leaves, tends to come back in the end. So I just wanted to share a few reflections about my time here on the Global Mercy before I get ready to to go out, or I'm sure I will reflect even more. <laughs> um, yeah, go out for my final evening. Hope that there will be a chance to come back. I am leaving that prayer with God and telling him that if there is a space for me and there is a time, that would be a wonderful gift to return to this ship and get to stay for, for longer than 11 days, which is not long enough. So thanks for coming with me on this journey. And let's go enjoy one more evening and remaining day on the ship before I head out.